Welcome to the complete animation of Colleen from Road Rovers, the 13th and final episode of the series titled A Day in the Life. So this is such a weird show. It's like it's clearly trying to cash in on the whole like TMNT craze of the late 80s, early 90s with, you know, basically animal-themed superheroes. And I think that 13 episodes was the perfect length for something like this. It's like, I don't think that they would have been able to explore the concepts that this show explored any better with any more episodes. And the brevity of it all made it so that they were able to just do what they wanted to do and then be done with it. Like, I, I don't think that this show would have been any better with, you know, multiple seasons of 26 episodes each. And there are just some things about this series that I find, like, it really endearing. One of the things is the music. They really went all in on the whole jazz band and, you know, funky music to go along with everything. It's like you can you can tell that whoever was in charge of this music wanted to do something with it because it's it's just so unique. Now, visually, the show is really weird, but good. It, it's obviously presented at a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. And you can tell a lot about a show just by the aspect ratio it uses. If a show uses a 4 by 3 aspect ratio, you know exactly what medium it's targeting. Because the only thing that targets that is NTSC television. Or PAL television. But yeah, like, this show was made to be shown on TVs. And so it's got that 4x3 squarish aspect ratio. And some of the episodes have a lot of uh, interlacing artifacts. Like at the very beginning of this episode, where it had the intro... Yeah, there was some pretty bad interlacing right there, which is a dead giveaway that this video file that I got from iTunes was, like, the, the uh, they didn't really have the masters, so they had to do what they could with turning video, which is often interlaced, into, you know, a digital file. So, it's like one of the things about these kinds of shows is they're often made to sell toys. But it's like, you know, I don't really see how this show could have ever really been made to sell toys. It's only 13 episodes long. I think I googled the toys that the show might have had once upon a time. And the... There was like one set of toys ever made which is a real shame because throughout the entire running time of this show there are so many interesting like airplanes and vehicles those would have been made for great toys and all of this has led me to my conclusion that this show was sort of made as an inside joke where you know, that everybody says that imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. They want to take that and turn it into, like, parody through sincerity. They wanted to take just the sheer silliness of this kind of show and just make a completely dead serious thing of it but in doing so end up just poking fun at the meat at the uh the genre as a whole and yeah i don't know like 
I enjoy this show. Like, I don't think it's, like, the best thing ever or anything. But I am... I'm glad that I bought all 13 episodes and I've watched them. Now let's talk about this character, Colleen. She is the girl. It's like, this is... There's the, what is it, the Smurfette principle, where it's like every show has a token female character because most of the show is targeted to bo towards boys. And Colleen, like, exemplifies that because she is the girl. And her character design is kind of interesting. She wears the same uniform as the rest of the characters, but it's, you know slimmer to show off her feminine physique and i think that her dog form is really weird it's like they take her her hair and just wrap it around her chest and it just it doesn't really that doesn't really resonate but in her road rover form an anthropomorphic dog I think her design is all right. I mean, like, her body is literally just a human body. There's nothing really special about that. You could put a human head and remove the tail and be just fine. But I think the one thing that kind of bothers me about her character model is her ears. <laughs> In my mind, her ears would look better if they were a touch smaller. They weren't floppy. And they didn't stick off the top of her head so much. Like, they, they came off the uh, the sides a bit. Like, I don't know. But an interesting thing is the voice actress is also the same voice actress who does Dot in the Animaniacs. And she's another one of those super prolific voice actresses. Um, like, Jim Cummings does a bazillion voices in this series as well. But she's not British. But I think that she put on a pretty good British accent for this Colleen character. That's one of the things I always wonder about. If if an actual Brit listens to this and they weigh in on how the accent is. But it's like, you know, there are like a bazillion accents even within Britain. There's like somebody who lives in Northern Ireland, probably talks very different than somebody who lives in downtown London. But yeah, so Road Rovers. It's a big, silly, action-packed show with really creative music. I enjoy it. Thanks for watching.